Hey guys, it's Judy from Nutrition with Judy. Okay, thanks for joining me today. For those of you that don't know me, I am Judy Cho and I am a nutritional therapy practitioner. I am also the author of Carnivore Cure. Okay, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. This allows me to provide you guys more free videos. All right, I just wanted to get on here really quickly. Um, so I know in the video with Dr. Elizabeth Bryce, she is a big fan of iodine. And I know some people are a little bit wary of um, taking in more iodine, iodine in case you don't need it. And so there is a kind of functional test that you can do at home that I sent, um, that I give all the information to all my clients about this. And so what you do, is you can get this iodine tincture. So this is just one brand, but basically you could get it at CVS, Walgreens, uh, Walmart, and all you do, it's super simple. So like, you first check the time. And so what I'll do is I'll put like a little bit of square on my wrist and I make it really, really like yellow gold. And you can actually make a bigger square, but I'm running out of this iodine because I keep testing for my clients. But okay, so basically you can make this big patch. And then what you do is make sure it's really dark. You see the top part is not as dark. And so I will log it. And then basically, if your iodine is no longer here in 12 hours, you definitely need to take some iodine. So you can do the Lugols. Um, you can start with half a drop. Some people, some of my clients, um, taking even one drop is really harsh on them. And then they'll have these kind of reactions. So you can try with half a drop. Um, and so if it goes away even in six hours you definitely need iodine so then I would do two drops if you can tolerate it. Um, this is kind of how you can test. I like to have my clients basically do this test once a week and then as it kind of stays past 12 hours and then it can stay even up to 12, 24 so it should be really really faint within 24 hours and then you're definitely sufficient and then you can kind of dose down. So again test it once a week see how long it lasts. If it lasts for 12 hours, then maybe you only need one drop. If it lasts less than 12 hours, you probably need two drops of Lugol's or whatever iodine support you have. And then test it weekly with your iodine supplementation. So as you're taking it, then test again. If it shows that it's staying for at least 12 hours when it wasn't before, then maybe you want to try dosing down and see if it works in your body. You can also get natural iodine through like kelp and all these algae foods. Yes, it's not technically carnivore, but it is also not a plant food. It is a different um, kingdom. So it's something to consider. I, I don't think a lot of people are intolerant or have food sensitivities to algae foods. So it's something to consider also to get your natural algae. I will put like a thing of kelp that I get from Asian markets and put it in broth. So my kids get natural iodine instead of doing this and then I also test them this way. So yes, this is a good way to test so that you can tell if you are iodine deficient or not, and not just, you know, take it just in case. All right, guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. I just wanted to jump on and share this because it's a fun, you know, quick test I have my clients do. And again, it is not the Lugols that you're testing with. It is a iodine tincture um, that you use as an antiseptic when you get hurt and you're about to um, do some stuff on your skin. So if there is some alcohol though, so that is just a little bit of a warning. Okay guys, you know the drill. Take care of yourselves. Eat a lot of meat because it is the only place you have to live. All right guys, I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.